Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. Um, so today, <laughs> it's my 100th video. Yes! Um, I have the Hindash Monochromance palette. Uh, Capsule 4 from Simi Haze, which is their new uh, clean mascara. And, um, wait, what's the actual official name of this? Easy Lash, wait, what? <laughs> Easy Lash Clean Lift Mascara. This font is the smallest font I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> That's the color black. It's only one color right now. Um, and then they launched minis of a new balm formula, the Super Slick Lip Balm. So originally they came out with um, uh, these ones here, the Velvet Blur Matte Lip Balms in a bigger size like this. Uh, then they launched uh, minis of the same uh, type of balm, and they're more of like a matte formula that's more pigmented. Um, I don't know. I guess they're they're not like a matte lipstick. They definitely feel more like better than a typical matte lipstick. Um, I'm not like super big on matte lips just because my lips are dry, 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 dry. Technically, this is like video 101 slash 103. I've like thrown out some videos in the past, but I already filmed my Monochromance review. However, <laughs> I reviewed it alongside the new Kosas foundation, and I also used the Kosas concealer that I've already reviewed in the past and like wasn't crazy about, but I was like, let's just see how they work together. And um, as you know, probably, <laughs> always struggled with dry patch issues but holy shit I've never seen my dry patches under the eyes like this like that intensely it was insane like it was so bad that I, I just I could not post it <laughs> like I, I just have to completely film a new review because damn it was bad I mean I'll, I'm gonna try to like put in a clip and that sucks too because I like the video other than that but I just can't do it I can't do it so I've taken a little break off of filming and I've just been like super moisturizing, um, not using any like chemical exfoliants or any, any exfoliants really, literally just like fucking moisture, 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 hydration, moisture. <laughs> so I'm hoping today, fingers crossed, that my dry patches are resolved. <laughs> oh, also with these bombs, I just want to say <laughs> thank you so much um, <laughs> to the Simi Hayes team for sending them to me. I freaking like I'm just so grateful um I have like a review on these bombs um I think a couple there and I use them in a couple different uh reviews in their brand but let me just show you this package it's amazing so it came in this um box like this it's like sort of like this acrylic or plastic I don't even know exactly but it's so cool so it's like this sort of soft matte box it has their logo Simi Haze and then this part like slides out and it has all these bombs. And there's there's even more colors than this. There's a ton of colors, um, but they launched the minis alongside this glow in the dark keychain, which is just so cool. Like, I don't know. I know like they sent it to me, so I might seem biased, but <laughs> they really are like becoming one of my favorite brands. And I don't know, like, I just feel like they're very like forward thinking and they just have a very unique point of view. But anyways, so we're not gonna be doing the foundation review. I'm just gonna stick to something that I know and love. And that's the Givenchy uh, Prisma Libra Skin Caring Glow Foundation. Um, they just released the Skin Caring Matte version and that should be coming in the next day or two. So I just wanna use this so it's uh, fresh in my mind for that review. Even though I've used this a million times. <laughs> Like, it's fresh in there still, but, you know. Like, I love this one so much that I have two shades of it. So that's saying something. That never happens. <laughs> so, like I said before, I've been prepping my skin really, really well. Like, or just taking care of my skin really well the past few days. So, I am very moisturized. And I say this every video, that I do prep my skin carefully. I do, I do. But somehow, <laughs> it still looks dry sometimes. But just in case, I'm going to use some of this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. 
I am not taking any chances. Patches be gone. <laughs> Also, my fans on, we're transitioning over into spring and it's New Jersey and the weather here sucks. <laughs> it's fucking humid, like all fucking year round, except for like in the dead of winter. Everyone loves summer here and I don't know why because we have the worst summers. It's so fucking hot. It just literally, I'm sweating in the winter here, so. I'm just gonna quickly apply the foundation. I'm gonna use the shade 1C105 because this is the shade I picked it up in the matte version. I hope that it doesn't dry down too much darker because this is a pretty good match for me, but I also can pull off um, uh, N80, which is, or 1N80, which is like the lightest shade. So, you know, I'm <laughs> hoping, usually the matte foundations, you know, they dry a little darker. Yeah, this is still like one of the best foundations I've ever used. <laughs> it's like really good. <laughs> it just looks so amazing. I mean, I can't. And this one works well with a brush too, but I just don't want to risk kicking up any dryness with the brush today. I'm not doing that. I really don't understand the hype about the Kosas concealer. Like I, some people are literally like, it's the best concealer I've ever used. I'm like, I don't know, I just feel like it creases like crazy. It's supposed to be so hydrating, but when you see, I'm gonna put in a clip of my fucking under eyes. And when you see that, <laughs> you're gonna understand what I'm saying here. Right now, I'm not seeing any crazy visible dry patches, so I'm thrilled, I'm thrilled. <laughs> oh. Okay, concealer, KBD Good Apple. Gonna try to keep it like as minimal as possible with the concealer because I just don't wanna, you know, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> Going with the Dior Loose Cushion Powder. This is the shade uh, Fair. I know you're like, if you're so dry, why are you powdering everywhere? Well, it's because I'm gonna be blending a bunch of powders today. So I just wanna make sure everything goes on smooth. And I don't think I'm looking too dry right now. So I'm happy. <laughs> Please let me know your favorite loose powders for setting or even pressed powders. I love a good pressed powder. Um, I've heard the new Hermes one's good, but I don't have a Selfridges um, account right now. So I just don't feel like I don't know. I don't feel like paying the yearly shipping fee at the moment. <laughs> Let me know <laughs> because I just, I want something super lightweight like this is too, but yeah, anything lightweight or more like not powdery looking powder, please let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna shade with Butopsy. It's amazing, one of my prized possessions. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a lot of you probably found me from my first Hindash video. Um, it's like one of my most viewed videos on my channel of all time, so love that. <laughs> and so far, the love has been equal for the Monochromance palette. I really love this palette. It's just so adventurous. I also feel like unexpected and yeah, I don't know, perfect for spring. I just love it. I'm taking my Shakuta Angled Face Brush. This is the Ubu from the Ubu series. You can get this on Amazon, um, but I'm gonna go into tan lines here. Oh no. <laughs> the fuck? So, I am noticing a different dry patch now on my fucking eyelids, but whatever, I'm not as mad about that. <laughs> Hopefully the shadow will look good on it though. Oh God, I can't win. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna do the same look that I did when I filmed the first time around. I might like 
do kind of the same thing and just tweak it maybe. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna take Forever Inked, which is the blue, and I'm going into the lighter side of the ombre. And these powders are uh, pretty hard pressed. So you definitely want to use uh, either a natural hairbrush or if you have synthetic brushes, you might need to kind of get in there <laughs> or use a denser brush. Um, but my uh, refer brush here, this is the number 27, uh, has picked up a good amount of pigment. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start by placing this like right here. I think I am gonna change the look slightly, just slightly. <laughs> of course, these are pastel shades, so um, they will take some building, but they are not patchy. I'd much rather build than have a super, super, super like dark shadow that will just not blend out. So I'm very happy with this formula and with these colors. So I'm going to wipe this brush off real quick. I have a microfiber towel next to me as usual. And I'm gonna go into Heavy Petal, which is the pink color story here. I'm going into the lighter side and I'm putting that in the center. Okay, so now I'm going into Antidote, which is the purple story. Again, the lighter one. <laughs> And you know what? This is actually going over my dry patch on my eye really softly. Like, I don't feel that it's emphasizing the dryness. Of course, on camera it might be a little more emphasized, but right now, I don't know, I'm not feeling that. Going back into the pink heavy petal. With my Bisyoto short handle brush, I'm going into the blue and I'm basically just gonna go into all the colors that I went into for the top and just match it on the bottom. Now I'm going into the darker side of Antidote. Taking my Refer 27 again, the Fluffy Blender, into the purple. Now I'm going into the dark side of Forever Inked. Taking the Worker 3 into the lighter blue. I don't know, I'm not like obsessed with this look, but <laughs> I feel like the shadows are performing good. I don't know, I wasn't obsessed with the other one that much either, but whatever. <laughs> I feel like I need to build up the pink some more. I'm going into like the darker side of the pink now. like a pastel raccoon. I'm taking from Divine Rose 1, I'm taking the super glittery glitter shade. Is this a bad look? <laughs> okay, for blush, let's use uh, the pink. I'm gonna start with the Sunji Soft Cheek. I'm just gonna sort of mix them together. I can't find black brown for the brows at the moment, so I'm gonna start with uh, taupe for the legendary brow. Let's see. Um, let's get into this mascara. So this is supposed to be a clean, you know what? Let's read some claims. <laughs> I like never do that. I usually like just like go in and test and see how it is. You know what I mean? I sort of like skip all the bullshit. <laughs> but let's go in. Let's see. <laughs> 
Easy Lash Clean Lift Mascara. They say Easy Lash is our everyday mascara. It lifts and lengthens lashes without heaviness or clumping. Uh, so far, I've worn this once and I would have to agree. This is kind of like right up my alley. I really don't like thick mascaras. Um, I just like nice separating, um, lengthening mascaras. Fluttery, if you will. So it's a feather light gel cream formula infused with conditioning rose oil and rose water, envelops lashes in a flexible film. Lashes look elongated, lifted, and blacker than before. A tubular mascara. Okay, it says it's not supposed to clump, smudge, or smear. Here is what the wand looks like. I actually really like wands like this. Sometimes the more like bristly bristly wands, those like for some reason irritate my eyes when I put them on. I don't know why, but like this is a similar sort of wand to the Lashy Dole. I mean, this one has like a curve. Yeah, I prefer wands this style. Definitely is gliding on and it does feel feather light. I cannot feel it whatsoever. And it's not clumpy. It's very like separating. gives me lashy dull vibes and they're super lightweight I cannot feel them we'll see if it flakes or anything but so far so good oh um, I'd also like to I just noticed this with the packaging it when you go to close it all the way there is sort of like a click in that you can feel so that's definitely good so you know it's airtight I will say the packaging for the mascara although I feel like the packaging throughout their whole brand is very unique uh, the mascara packaging, um, I don't know. I feel like it could have been like cooler just based on all of the existing products. They all have amazing packaging. So yeah, that's the only thing. Like it's sort of giving me like Jones Road mascara vibes, except the Jones Road ones uh, is in a thicker tube. You know what I mean? It's like the matte black plastic sort of deal. Um, it still looks nice. It has the Simi Hayes logo um, on the cap there. Um, and it says Easy Lash on the side as well. It's, it's probably hard to see because it's just a little bit, like a little engraving type of deal. But yeah, I feel like there could have been maybe just a more interesting shape or something. Let's do this lip. I got the shade Blossom. There was a few that I really wanted to get, but I was like, ah, like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's hard to tell from like the swatches on the site. And they posted a ton of pictures on Instagram too, like on their stories. So you could really see what they look like IRL, <laughs> but yeah, I went th with the shade Blossom because I feel like I couldn't go wrong with a nice pink shade, um, but I'll show you. Here's what it looks like. And I'll do a little swatch on my hand. It definitely is like a slick, balmy formula, like the name suggests, and not as pigmented as the matte ones. The matte ones I feel like are so pigmented which is kind of nice for this. You know, it's not like it's just um, a shiny version of the matte ones. I feel like it's you more, it's, it's its own unique thing, you know? It's funny because in my original review, I loved my lip, to be honest. That's like, that was my favorite part of the whole look, <laughs> was my look. So I did the shades Moonblade and Sunrise, I believe. So I did Sunrise, I did like a little bit of an ombre lip. They all sort of blend together in the end, but I did Sunrise, which is like a warmer sort of pink. And I did that on like the more outer part of my lip. And then I did the center with my favorite shade, Moonblade, because the fucking name, hello. <laughs> and it was sort of like a cool pink look, but this is gonna give me a similar look. So I'm just gonna, you know, use this obviously. And this is like a, a really good formula because I feel like with other sort of like glossy bomb formulas that's really popular right now, um, they feel a little heavy. This does not feel heavy to me on the lips. It feels more lightweight and it really does like glide. 
I don't know, it's just a really pretty wash. And you can kind of get this effect with the other bombs, even though they're more pigmented. Like, I just put a gloss over them because it just, it makes it much more manageable for me <laughs> with my dry lips. But yeah, I live. And after wiping away the splotch, you can see there is a slight stain. The matte colors really leave a beautiful stain, <laughs> in my opinion. I love the stain that they leave. Like, I was swatching them on my hand in the last video, and they uh, took, t like, three showers for the swatches to go away. <laughs> I think for highlight, we're gonna go blue. We're definitely doing, like, a neon-y, pastel-y thing today. So, Danessa Myrick's Lightwork Volume 3. Uh, Wayne Goss Airbrush. I'm going into Blue Moon. And I'm actually going to take a bit of Strawberry Moon too, the pink one. And we're just going to mix them. Yeah, this color blossom definitely gives the same effect or similar effect to the two colors that I was mixing and then putting a gloss over in my, when, in my last look or, you know, my, in my first attempt. We'll just, we'll just call it my first attempt. <laughs> I think I'm ready to zoom in and go over my final thoughts. Monochromance. I just get excited by this palette. I just love the pastel colors. I love, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to get into this story here. I know it's a little bit more of a basic sort of like terracotta-y, ready sort of color. You know, it's not as crazy as the pastels. <laughs> but I don't know, something about it is a little more unique. And he used this in his like official like first tutorial for the palette and i kind of want to try recreating that look um in a future video and he combined these colors here as well as using these to sort of transform them and he also used um boy tears which is his new uh sort of uh multi-purpose uh liquid shimmer <laughs> Could use as a highlighter or eyeshadow. I didn't get that one yet. Um, I'm gonna pick that up along with the intra liner and the matte lip balm. So that'll be coming in a future video, probably within the next couple weeks. Uh, so maybe I'll try that look in that video because he uses the liner and that and everything. So we'll really try to follow that tutorial. I think that would be fun. Okay, I might have overdone the highlighter on my chin. <laughs> Just taking the face one. Just buffing that out. Maybe I'll do a little buffing up here too. Yeah, that definitely smoothed things over. Uh, Sonya G to the rescue once again. <laughs> do I want to add a liner? Do you think by Rado Sean D would be too, too much for this? I don't know. What if I fuck it up? I mean, does it really matter? I just feel like there's a lot going on in my eyes, but maybe more could go on it. <laughs> you know what? Let's just add this liner. <laughs> Who cares, right? Whatever. Woohoo! 100th video. Let's like do something. Okay. a little bit on the waterline. I don't know. I'm not like mad at it, but I'm also not like, you know, especially thrilled. <laughs> and I actually can see a little bit of my dryness still under here, but it's not nearly as emphasized as it was with the Kosas concealer. So that's a win in my book. I also wanted to mention the spring YSL Couture Clutch from last year kind of gives me monochromance vibes. Um, and these are all like, more like shimmery finishes. So I actually feel like makes a really good companion palette to Monochromance, don't you think? So I'll have to play with these together too. 
very nice. This is one of my favorite palettes of life. So the Easy Lash Mascara. You see some minor flakage, but not nearly as bad as some of the others I've tried and it's almost zero like <laughs> literally like micro specs like a fucking black dust literally so i'm really not mad at it and the effect is very lengthening yeah i'll be happy to reach for this one again my only critique really is the packaging it's just a little disappointing. That's only because they've raised the bar pretty high for themselves, I think, with the designs of their other things. And this I'm really excited about. Definitely have to get like probably four or maybe all of the colors. <laughs> because I don't know, I just think, especially because there's this one like dark brown one. And so here's the thing. There's a dark brown one in the matte formula, Dusk, and that one is a little too dark for me, I think. <laughs> like, I could make a look out of it, I could. But this, because it's a sheer formula, I'm excited to see how that will look on the lips because even though it's a darker brown with this sort of sheer washiness, I think it will be more suitable for me, you know? So definitely have to check that out. And they also have a red one. And you know, I love doing a nice red vampiric moment, so definitely that one I'm interested in as well but this blossom shade is very pretty and I do have some like dead skin flakes and I don't find this to be emphasizing it at all and again it doesn't feel heavy like or super oily you know what I mean and sometimes with those types of formulas even though I do like them like I said they're too heavy and I get like little breakouts like on the border of my lip and they're like just annoying they usually go away in like one day they're not like cold sores they're just um yeah like little bumps like on the border of my lips because i think it's just like you know the follicles get clogged but this feels very lightweight okay so we're at the end <laughs> of the beginning <laughs> um yeah i mean it's my hundredth video it's crazy i can't believe it. I feel like, you know, I probably would have hit number 100 months ago had I been still uploading three videos a week, but I still feel like it's just such a major milestone for me and I'm really proud of myself. And literally in my last video, I was fucking crying about it. <laughs> so just thanks everyone for subscribing and supporting me and yeah. Here's to a hundred more. <laughs> Maybe we'll hit it by the end of this year if I could get my shit together, but we'll see. Uh, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell to notified every single time I upload a new video. Uh, follow my Instagram, Prettier Than Graham. Follow me on Newness so you're notified every single time that I'm doing a live stream. See ya, thanks again. Love you. <laughs>